Good morning everybody. Welcome back to Blind Dave's Kitchen. This week we're breaking out the crock pot. So stick around. Where's my coffee? pizza soup. Really simple and easy, not a lot to it. A uh, really good meal. If you like pizza, if you like soup, you get both. Let's get started. Right here I just got a pound of browned sausage. Um, we browned it before we got started just to save some time. I'm sure you all know how to brown hamburger sausage, but Pretty easy. Just throw it in a pan and cook it till it's brown. I also have some, mixed in with it, I have some mushrooms. And uh, <clears throat> we pre-cook them just a little bit. You don't need to do that if you don't want to, but we do that just to make them a little more tender. So let's see if we can get this dumped into the old crock pot deluxe over here. I know I'm kind of backwards to you guys. You can't really see what I'm doing, but. They can, you're not backwards. This is, I'm right-handed, so. We'll kind of set up backwards for you guys. I'm sure you can understand what I'm doing. Dumping this in here. Pretty sure it's getting in the crock pot. In. Now this is just like making a pizza. You put anything in it that you like on a pizza. Pepperonis, you know, right here is about a cup of onion. We're going to throw that right in. Eat it all out of the bowl, like that. Okay, what's next? Next, we're just putting in some green Green pepper? What color peppers did we get, Karen? Red. Red peppers. <clears throat> you can use green pepper if you would like. But green pepper tends to give both Karen and I a little bit of heartburn. So we, we tend to use you know, like a red pepper or you know yellow pepper or something like that. What we got going on next? These are just Good old regular pizza sauce like you would put on your pizza if you was making a homemade pizza at home. Dump these in there. And I tend to use equal amounts sauce and water. Maybe a little bit less water. You can use as much water as you like or as little water as you like. I'm sure you probably understand the more water you put in, the, the soupier it's going to be. So just keep that in mind, you know, the less water, make it a little bit thicker. We'll come over here to the fancy refrigerator, get us some good clean water, right in the can. Try not to get pizza sauce all over the refrigerator. I would appreciate that. Yeah. I like to pour the water right in the can and kind of get most of the leftover sauce out. Fill this guy up. Crock pot 
Deluxe. Pour him in. All right. Set these up here out of the way. Somewhere. There we go. Okay. Got our water in and our sauce. A little bit of pepperoni here. <clears throat> Can't have pizza without pepperoni on it. Again, as much as you like or as little as you like. This is all. Have you got that little piece that. Oh, yeah, I yeah. can feel it. Okay. The little do not eat. Mm hmm. You don't want that guy in there. Put these in. Just separate them a little bit so we don't have. Well, oh, that's a thick one. Girthy. Throw these babies in there. I like a lot of pepperoni on my pizza, so I'm going to put a lot of pepperoni in my pizza soup. Put this in here. That'd probably be good. What do you think, Miss Karen? Looks good. Good. Give it a mix around here. I like to put a little extra help in there. A little oregano right here. Um, it's a shaker top. Yep. I didn't know if it had that. A bunch out in my hand here. You can see what's going on. about what half a teaspoon maybe a little more why not right there's that <clears throat> just a little garlic powder oh I can smell it too much in my hand, so we'll just dump him in there. Alright, do that. Put him there for now. And this is just <clears throat> onion salt. Spices you like, seasons you like. Don't be afraid to season up your food however you like it. A little more, why not? That's pretty much it for this one. <clears throat> this is just gonna sit here and percolate away for the day. Remember, Every time you take your cover off your crock pot when it comes up to temperature, you're adding a half an hour of time to your, to your cook time. This here doesn't really have a specific cook time because the sausage is already cooked and we're just getting everything warmed up and, and warm and cozy with each other. But when we come back later on, I'll show you how to fancy up a bread bowl to go with this type of meal. and. We'll finish it up and we'll see you then. Welcome back everybody. Crock pot over here has been doing crock pot stuff all day. I wish somebody would in invent smell-o-vision because we've been smelling this all day and this smells amazing. It's been hard not to just dig in and eat like it is, which you can, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these bread bowls. I'm going to take these to the next level a little bit, kind of make them like garlic bread. 
we're just going to melt. This does take a little bit of butter to do it this way, but if I can get this baby unwrapped. Well, I think I got it. No. Huh. We'll get there. Mm -hmm. Go to the end. Oh, you got it. There we go. There's still a piece on the end, babe. Crying out. On this end? Yep. Feel it? Yep. Okay. There we go. Yep, you got it. There's one. <laughs> now my fingers are all buttery. There we go. These opened up. so much trouble opening butter before. My goodness. There we go. Get it all? Yep. Yep. Yeah. That should go down in there, I guess. All buttery now. Pop these in the melting. What we're going to do, we're going to, once that's melted, we'll add some garlic to it, make a garlic butter like we've done before. And I'm just going to paint all inside, a little on the outside, on these two bread bowls. We're going to take the, the cap here, the scalp, make a little piece of garlic bread out of that. And then we'll take a little pieces here from inside of the bread bowl. We're just going to dip these in that butter, garlic butter, and all this is going to go, we're just going to cook all this for a few minutes and uh, take it from there. Let that butter finish melting, get myself organized here, yeah, this is just, just minced garlic. You can use fresh garlic if you want to do that. I have done that, I take a little fresh garlic and and uh, mince it up, and then you uh, melt it in with the butter on the on the stove. Does a real good job. Not too hot, I guess. Should be melted. We'll see. My uh, spoon. spoonful of that right in there. Make it good and garlicky. That color right on fully. Yeah, a little bit. Set in there. Okay. See how much of a mess I can make doing this. Trusty paintbrush. Just brush them around in there. Like that. Set them down. And just go around the top. Slather it on there. No, I'm not going for pretty. Do the same with this other guy. This soup, I made it in the crock pot today because, you know, we're just hanging around, doing stuff around the house. A good day for crock pot to go. You can do this on the stove top and, you know, just a little bit. All the same stuff, all the same ingredients, whatever you like on a pizza. 
throw in the same way, just throw it all together, put it on the stove, bring it to a boil, and then just let it simmer until it gets good and hot and everything's, you know, cooked to the way you like it. I've never made it in an Instapot. I'm sure you could. Throw it in the Instapot and then, I don't know, nine, ten seconds later it's done. Those things are amazing. I don't know how they cook so fast, but they do. What I'm going to try to do here, all right, this is probably, gonna, I'm going to move this because this is probably going to be a messy part. Soak all that butter up. These are a little buttery like this, so if your stomach doesn't handle that well, probably skip this. But I'm just going to do this like so. Get a little butter on all these. What we do is we just eat those as we're eating a soup, you know, you dip them right in your soup or or just eat them playing straight up, you know. That one's already done. I'm trying to keep myself separated here. I don't think it really matters if they're all touching each other or not. It's just buttery bread at this point. A couple more here, like so. Spot. All right. Now, somewhere I got. There's the cat. There's one. You see the other one, Miss Karen? It's over to your uh, right, uh, more closer to your body. Keep going right, yeah, right there. Oop. Yep. Oh, yeah, there it is. These babies, I'm just going to go like this. Push them right down in there. Let them soak that up in good shape. Making that soup, you know, <clears throat> like I said, whatever you like on a pepperoni pizza, like my youngest son, uh, Braden, for the longest time, I'm sure most, most young kids are like this, but for the longest time he only would eat cheese pizza, he wouldn't eat anything on it. So make this soup just the same way, you know, you just sauce and water, warm it up, put it in a bowl. I know some of you have probably figured out by now, you know, you, you were probably asking early on, Dave, what about the crust? What about cheese? Stuff like that. Well, here's your crust, you know, a bread bowl. If you don't like the bread bowl, put a few croutons in the bottom of your bowl, spoon that in there. That's just as good like that, too. Then once you get all your hot soup in there, you cover it up with cheese, and it's so good. But... We're going to slam these into the air fryer, and I've yet to teach myself how to use it, so Miss Karen's going to do that for us. So we're going to pause the video, and when we come back, everything will be magically done, and we'll be ready to eat. See you in a few minutes. Here it is, folks. You try to tell me that this don't look good. I wish you guys could smell this. If there's one meal that I say try out out of any of these meals that I make, if there's one that I suggest, it's this one right here. This is so good. 
Look at these little pieces of bread. This is just the little pieces of bread from in what we tore out of the bread bowl. Dipped them in garlic butter and toasted them. These are so good. Good and crunchy. We got the, the little scalp here where we scalped him. Made a little piece of garlic toast out of that. But the star of the show is right here, my friends. This, this bread is so, look how soft and, and tender, I guess, you would say. Nice melty cheese on top. If I can get a good down deep spoonful. How's that look? That look good? I'm, I'm sure I'm about to burn every taste bud I got out of my head, but... Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, is that perfect? That come out amazing. Bread bowl and the crock pot for the win on this one, my friends. There it is. Plain and simple, easy. Probably got most everything in your cabinet already. Try it out. You won't be afraid. You won't. <laughs> Try it out. You won't be disappointed. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you didn't get it all over yourself, you didn't do a good job. We'll see you next time.